Hello, and uh, now we move on to the uh, 7D, Matchbox number 7D in the 1-75 range. So this is the, uh, the fourth model in the 1-75 uh, the range. And for all you guys that know me, oh, I love this, uh, the Hairy Hustler. You know, this was this this was around when I was a kid. Habon was a kid. You know, brilliant, brilliant model. Uh, you know, there are people that will hate that, um, but this is this is what um, matchbox collecting or a lot of collecting is all about. It's all personal opinions. It's personal favourites. You know, I'm sure there's sort of mocha and regular wheel collectors that are growing. What are you talking about? That's garbage. Um, but oh, I love it. It's just it's so me. It's loud. It's brash. It's a bit Death Race 2000 again, you know, one of those models to, you know, cut you down at the cut you down at the ankles. I just just love it. Great. Um, okay, um, so we'll talk about boxes first. Uh, only the the I type box and the J type box. We're talking a production run between sort of late 71 to about uh, uh, 75. Okay. And the big transformation was from the uh, the earlier bronze model, uh, obviously into the uh, the streaker um, variation. So quite a transformation of model there. But within the early uh, bronze ones, uh, there are quite a few variations. Okay, and as you can see there, there's sort of three quite distinct label variations. Uh, there are base color variations. Uh, there are glass options. Um, so with the hairy hustler, particularly with the bronze, not so much with the streaker. But with the bronze model, uh, you can incorporate, I don't know, a dozen or so, 15 possibly, uh, different variations of, of the bronze model there. I, I went with the three. Um, I only sort of found two variations of the iBox. So you've got the uh, the new model text, and you've got without new, and you've got the, the model in the red circle. Uh, it, may, it may exist, um, it probably does. Um, with the with just the seven without the the red circle here, and possibly with a, a not recommended for children. But again, I've not I've not seen one of those um, label variations here. So we've got we've got the early sort of five and diagonal stripe five here, uh, yellow and black, uh, scorpion label, five square labels, and sort of a later issue. Uh, sort of blue sort of diagonal label here and I said that there are different color bases and glass options here uh, dark amber light amber and purple now the one for me uh, as you probably guessed um, is the purple window one because hey look it matches the box artwork but hey does it because <laughs> every day is a school day with matchbox it, it really is and very very recently and th this is since um Vectis have catalogued it and speak, speaking to Julian um, we both noticed something and although you can't clearly see it on my preview picture here would you believe the box artwork doesn't show the bonnet label and I literally found that out in the last in the last couple of weeks and you think well there you go so I thought I had the matching box art uh, but I haven't uh, <laughs> because it's got the label. Now, I know you're thinking, oh, Graham, just, just rip the label off. I mean, that, that's not for purists, um, but, you know, <laughs> it's sort of almost tempting, um, isn't it? Because it's only a, it's only a peel-off label, but but there you go. I, 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 didn't, I didn't notice that one. So one to look out for, folks. Uh, so if you want the pinnacle of matching box artwork, it doesn't come with that label. Uh, but no doubt people are going to start ripping those labels off now. But I've, I've never seen it without a label, so so please don't, guys. Uh, and I say the um, the streaker version here, not really seen too many variations of that. Uh, you know, you will get an odd little sort of wheel variation or a, a wheel error. Um, you will see it with the, see the red tampo here. You'll get it with a sort of red tampo, maybe an orange tampo. Um, I have seen it without any tampos at all. Uh, I have had I have had one actually a long a long time ago. That that's quite hard uh, to find that without the uh, the tampos. So that covers the uh, the hairy hustler. Uh, so again, thanks ever so much for watching, and uh, we'll do the 7E next post. Thank you. Bye bye.